This episode is brought to you by Honeysuckle White. If you're looking for ways to make mealtime healthier in the new year, make your favorite recipes with turkey from Honeysuckle White. Take the pressure off. Keep it simple and tasty without sacrificing flavor for nutrition. Whether you want a delicious sandwich or post-workout protein, Honeysuckle White Turkey can do it all. Visit HoneysuckleWhite.com for recipe inspiration and to find retailers near you. Honeysuckle White. Eat what you love. Start your wellness journey at Whole Foods Market, where it's jumpstart January through the 16th. Stock up on supplements with some of the year's biggest savings. Plus, save on air-chilled organic boneless skinless chicken breast, organic honey crisp apples, organic large Haas avocados, and more. And since Whole Foods Market is the only certified organic national grocer, it's easy to make them your wellness destination. Jumpstart your January now at Whole Foods Market. This is Optimal Relationships Daily, Episode 2023, Learning Better Marriage Communication Tools, by Dr. Kathy McMahon of CouplesTherapyInc.com. Hello, everybody. Happy Saturday, and thanks for joining me once again here on ORD. I'm Greg Audino, your host and narrator, ready to read to you from another article written by Dr. Kathy McMahon from Couples Therapy, Inc. She always shares with us some great tools for keeping relationships intact, and today is no exception. So let's hear what she has to say about better marriage communication tools as we optimize your life. Learning Better Marriage Communication Tools by Dr. Kathy McMahon of CouplesTherapyInc.com Good communication is a truism for a happy relationship. Marriage counseling teaches effective marriage communication tools, but you don't have to spend money to learn. Yet, some of the most essential ways to have a great marriage have little to do with couples communication. It might have more to do with the fundamentals. Take more couple time alone. Parents and those who work from home find themselves with little alone time, both as individuals and as a couple. Set aside time each day to talk. Make it uninterrupted time for just the two of you. Managing your own irritability and stress. A U.S. view source report on sleep reports that 35.2% of all adults get less than 7 hours per night. According to sleep expert Matthew Walker, you need between 8 and 9 hours. He says, quote, Human beings are the only species that deliberately deprive themselves of sleep for no apparent gain. Many people walk through their lives in an underslept state, not realizing it. End quote. And your need for sleep doesn't decrease with age. We've learned that 70-year-olds need just as much sleep as 40-year-olds. Sleep deprivation can cause negative moods, like anger, frustration, irritability, and sadness, and a decrease in positive moods. And not being able to sleep is often a symptom of depression and anxiety. Consider the following as sources of irritability and stress. Stimulants or caffeine, medical conditions such as an overactive thyroid or low thyroid, medication, or even being hungry with low blood sugar. Don't wait if a lack of communication is present in your relationship. Consider all of these factors and make changes. Use your everyday life to reduce stress. In about 15 to 20 minutes a day, couples can dramatically feel listened to and supported. The tool called the Stress Reducing Conversation is part of a group training called The Art and Science of Love. Participants reported fewer relapses when they did this daily. Best of all, it requires simply calming down and tuning in as each person talks about their day. They talk about their frustrations and irritations, the things they're proud of, or the unpredictable events or people in their lives. Researchers found that this daily discipline did wonders. It shielded the couple from external threats and allowed them to strengthen their bond to home and family life. Over time, the couple filled in the puzzle pieces of their lives. They learned the cast and characters in each other's lives, and they learned more about the worries and pressures each faced. They followed along as their partner updated them, or just vented about what happened since the last time they talked. And the listener did no heavy lifting. They offered no advice, criticism or critique, solutions or suggestions. Instead, they offered a supportive listening ear. True friendship empathy, support, and validation. Ask for an ally, not a problem solver. 
Doing less is more in healthy relationships. If you want to improve communication, pay attention, make eye contact, tune in, and just listen. Your tone and body language work together to say, I am here for you. Nothing is more important to me than listening to and trying to understand what you are wanting to tell me. Believing that someone has your back does wonders for an intimate relationship. Use touch to effectively communicate. Many couples rely on active listening alone, but words are just one type of communication. Happy couples reach out and provide comforting touch. When your partner is emotional, actions speak louder than words. So rest your fingers on a shoulder, grab a knee, or rest against your spouse. Sometimes even your physical presence, without the words, say, I'm with you. If you sense that your partner is at a miserable day, make contact. Make physical touch, like hugs and supportive kisses, a daily form of communication. Rethink your values. We all need to make money and develop ourselves professionally. But for many married couples, COVID required us to put work in a new perspective. They've had more of a chance to get closer and really rethink their values as a couple and as individuals. It invited us to consider our true values that sometimes get lost in the hustle and bustle of everyday life. Healthy communication goes beyond providing instruction, giving direction, or sharing the essential details in life. Happy marriages look ahead and discuss what the good times really mean to them as a family. Tune in to dreams, hopes, and aspirations. For effective communication in marriage, stop the critic from coming out when your partner is talking about their hopes and dreams. Instead of commenting on how impractical the aspirations are, be a dream catcher. I like doing a Gottman intervention called Dreams Within Conflict. This tool is used to help couples work through gridlocked or perpetual problems. The speaker, or dreamer, answers a series of questions asked by the listener, the dream catcher. There is nothing particularly magical about these questions. The purpose is only to ask open-ended questions to allow their partner to feel safe in sharing their story. They also help the listener stay neutral. Sometimes I have them keep notes to keep focused as the listener. Remaining curious about how your partner thinks and feels is the key. Where do your partner's thoughts and feelings come from? Why do they feel so strongly about this issue? And what does it represent or symbolize to them? Listen without preparing your rebuttal and without judgment. Work toward greater understanding and try to connect. As you learn your partner's dreams, hopes, and aspirations, both of you will feel more connected. You just listened to the post titled Learning Better Marriage Communication Tools by Dr. Kathy McMahon of CouplesTherapyInc.com. Start your wellness journey at Whole Foods Market, where it's jumpstart January through the 16th. Stock up on supplements with some of the year's biggest savings. Plus, save on air-chilled organic boneless skinless chicken breast, organic honey crisp apples, organic large Haas avocados, and more. And since Whole Foods Market is the only certified organic national grocer, it's easy to make them your wellness destination. Jumpstart your January now at Whole Foods Market. This holiday season, you might be looking for nutritious, flavorful meals to fuel you on jam-packed days. Well, our sponsor, Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal delivery service, can help you eat cleanly with chef-prepared, dietitian approved ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. Save time, stay healthy, and treat yourself to high-quality, delicious meals over the holidays. Choose from over 35 chef-crafted meals every week that support a healthy lifestyle and meet your meal preferences. And by the way, Factor isn't just for dinner. Count on extra convenience any time of day with an assortment of over 55 add-ons to suit various preferences and tastes. Choose from quick breakfast items, lunch to go, grab-and-go snacks, and ready-to-drink cold-pressed juices, shakes, and smoothies. And rest assured, you're making a sustainable choice. Factor offsets 100% of their delivery emissions and source 100% renewable electricity for their production sites and offices. So head to factormeals.com slash optimal50 and use code optimal50, that's optimal50, to get 50% off. 
That's code OPTIMAL50 at factormeals.com slash OPTIMAL50 to get 50% off. And thank you to Dr. Kathy for another wonderful post. I really love how she referenced the management of personal irritability and stress. That is so good. You know this point is essential because it underscores the often overlooked influence of individual well-being on relationships. Addressing things like sleep, medical conditions, basic needs such as hunger. This is vital as these can and do contribute to increased irritability. By prioritizing individual health and stress management, Couples can foster a better environment for positive interactions. So this means better communication. It means empathy, understanding, energy, patience, really everything. Taking care of ourselves physically truly does offer a foundation for healthier exchanges within the relationships we have. And we have to stay on top of them because their negative effects don't show up right away. You know, it's so easy to disregard them but rest assured that doing so will only hurt your relationships. And if you and your partner partake in unhealthy habits together, yeah, it may feel like a bond you have or sort of charming to have the same routine, but it will take its toll. So consider this article. And with that said, get out of here and go listen to an episode of our sister show, Optimal Health Daily. We are done here for today, folks, but I appreciate you tuning in and making the time on a Saturday. I hope you're having a great weekend and be sure to come on back tomorrow for more where your optimal life awaits.